All right, here we are once again. Today we're going to be installing one mod, a C edit script for it, and a tool. The tool is going to be Z edit by Mater the Eternal. It is hosted on GitHub instead of Nexus because it is not a release yet. Instead it is the alpha version, unfortunately. It is slightly outdated compared to xedit. We can't really do anything about that ourselves unless you know how to work with xedit lib and you can port Pascal to JavaScript. So first of all, let's go ahead and get zedit portable x64. As we have done with the previous tools, we're going to save it to our tools folder. Open it up, 7-zip, extract to zedit. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and go to Animated Armory Animation Z Patch. Go to the files and manually download this. Save it to the same tools location and go ahead and extract it. Go ahead and take the folder that's in it, Z Edit Animated Armory Patcher, not the folder that contains it, open zedit, go to modules, and paste the folder. The next step, this depends on your mod manager, for MO2 users, go to edit, add, add from file, go to your tools folder, zedit.exe, and hit apply. Okay. For Cortex users, go to Programs, Add Program, Browse Folder. Go to your Tools folder, Z Edit, again, and hit OK. Vortex users. Vortex users can choose to either add as tool or run standalone. There's really no reason to not add it as a tool, though. Go ahead and go to Add New Tool. Go to target, click the folder icon, go to your tools folder, zedit, add zedit.exe, save. The next step, animated armory, go ahead and download it, download the main file of animated armory. And finally, go ahead and download expanded Skyrim weaponry patch ESL animated armory. Now. We can go ahead and install Animated Armory, the main file, and the ESL version, merge it. Go ahead and enable. We need to go ahead and patch a few things. So enable USEP and enable new armory and run VQSC. You'll notice there's three cells that USEP touches and that new armory also touches. We're going to just go ahead and copy the three cells from USEP into a patch. We're not going to put that U in because we're Americans. Let's go ahead and add masters, close and save. We're also going to need a patch for RW2, so enable RW2 USEP, and we're also going to need to enable Animated Armory USEP. So go ahead and run loot sort, apply, and now run VQSC again. I don't know why RW2 sometimes does this. I don't think I've ever seen this error with an other plugin, but it does this. So copy as override RW2. Animated Army RW2, and move the editor ID over. Add all those masters. Close and save. Go ahead and enable all. Loot it again. And now let's run the zedit script. This will require running Finis. So go ahead and update it. Go ahead and hit exit. In the top drop down, the mode, we are using zedit. In the bottom drop down, you have a few options by default. One will be the game itself, 
and you'll probably have an automatically created MO2. I already have several simply because I have previously used this. So I'm going to have one for each version that. I'm going to have one for each mod manager that I use. They are all going to have the same path and that will be the path to your game folder. And there you go. Now let's go ahead and start session for MO2. Leave everything enabled as it is already. Once the edit has finished loading, go ahead and go to the puzzle icon, which is Manage Patchers. You will have Animated Armory, and you can click Build. This will take a few seconds, and then it should be done rather quickly. You'll notice Z-Patch. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Go ahead and close, and save. The plugin will be generated into Override. You can change this by going into Edit, selecting Z-Edit, and Create Files in Mod instead of Override. You will need to have a mod to put it into. I'm just going to put it into Exit Output for now, and hit OK. And we can move that over. This plugin will need to be regenerated. You do that by going into Zedit and running the patcher again. Anytime you add a mod that has weapon records in it. If it edits a weapon, or if it adds a weapon, you will need to verify that changes are made to the Z patch. For Cortex users, let's go ahead and open file location of the downloads. Let's go ahead and extract to star slash the archives that we have. And let's add new mod from folder, select folder. Scripted level lists, new mod from folder, select folder, and ESL animated armory. Scroll down, enable all three. Go ahead and run your VFS and sort the plugins. Apparently, I forgot to activate the plugin. My bad. When we run Zedit this time, we will need to go into Cortex setting. We will need to go into this gear. And the path, we will need to change it. This path needs to go to your Games folder, your Cortex folder, your Profile, the Virtual Game Directory, and leave it there. Now, start the session. And when you're in, Manage Patchers, Z-Patch, Enable Animated Armory Animation Patch, and hit Build. Once again, shouldn't take too long. Close, Close, Save. Go ahead and terminate the VFS. Go into your Overrides folder. Data subfolder. Take the Z-Patch. Cut it. Add new empty mod, Z patch. Go mod files location of the last loaded one. Go back up and sort by date modified in the newest one. Paste it. Go ahead and refresh. Enable Z patch. Create a new data folder. Move the Z patch into it. Refresh again, and enable the Z-Patch. Now for Vortex users, install all. After a few seconds, enable all. Go ahead and run Z-Edit. We're going to go ahead and select in the bomb drop-down, Vortex. Hit OK. 
Go to Modules and hit Build. After a few seconds, go ahead and close and save. Now, go to your Mods pane. Open Mod Staging folder. Open Game Mods folder. Set them up beside each other. Create a new folder in your Mod Staging folder. Name it C Patch. And move the zpatch.esp into it. Restart Vortex. Apply changes. In mods, enable zpatch. Now that we've finished patching both the manual animated armory art of two and the automatic Z patch, there's something you need to know. Any automated patcher such as Z patch will need to be placed at the end of the load order and have all patches that it relies on built before it is. So the reason why we're doing this is because this makes use of the previous mods. That's simple. 